my outer reality has changed dramatically. Uh, my inner reality, much more subtle shifts. It's, it's four years today since I had my prostate removed um, to remove the prostate cancer. And I'm, you know, I'm really one of the lucky ones that um, has uh, no detectable cancer present four years later. Um, I still call this website Recovering Man, but I'm always banging on about adapting. And I guess that tells us that adapting is very slow. There's a sort of, um, there's so much to get to grips with. And fundamentally, there's no way out but through. Um, there's so much to celebrate. It's well documented on recoveringman.net. I just want to acknowledge how much I have been supported and helped. First of all, by my wife, Colleen, and second of all, by this fabulous network of men in recovering men, as well as friends and family, and medical professionals worldwide. My body's kind of as fit as it can really be, and I do believe that helps with the keeping the cancer at bay, keeping my immune system at its best. My sexual function is kind of here and there, as I've written. Um, I kind of miss what I've lost and I welcome what I've gained. Um, so much is possible with acceptance, including a new form of sexuality. But you know, I still call it recovering man because there's still a part of me that kind of wants to get it all back. I know that I can't. The more I realize it, the more I um, recognize that uh, Joe Milios's famous words are true, the watched cock never comes. It's a very slow shifting. Every day more or less looks the same, rather like this lake behind me. Um, and yet, just like the lake, everything is always new. And I want to close with appreciating a friend of mine who has breast cancer who wrote to me this morning and said, I am spending two hours a day in my Taoist practices to make peace with my body. Thank you for that wisdom. <laughs>